Did you know that most membership organizations only evaluate their membership platform once out of every five years? That's so infrequent. This means that it's a critical decision that when you evaluate, you have to get right. In order to get it right, you need to know what to look for. If this is your first time evaluating in five years, then you might come across some new concepts, things like membership automation, membership lifecycle management, or mobile tools like digital membership cards. Hi, my name is Mitch. I'm the CEO here at Joinit. And today we're going to go over 10 things that you need to look for when evaluating membership software. Let's dive in. Now, before we dive into the list of 10 features that you should consider when evaluating your membership software, I'm going to draw a distinction between two buckets of features. The first bucket are membership requirement features. These are features that I also call checklist features. They're features that have to be in the software and meet your needs so that you can use the software as an organization. The second bucket of feature are membership improvement features. And these are features that help improve your day to day operations. They might do things like provide additional insight or automate certain tasks or even integrate with other services. This is in the second half of the list, and I'll call it out when we get there. All right, let's kick things off. And number one, we have web presence. This is really about making that first impression between your organization and prospective members. Now, this is also where you need to reconcile the requirements for your organization to what the provider might offer. In some cases, organizations bring their own website that they host on WordPress or Squarespace, and so they only need a very basic web presence, like a profile. In other cases, they want to have an all-in-one system where they want their membership software to also be a full functioning CMS or content management system. So web presence can vary anywhere on that spectrum and you need to bring your specific requirement when evaluating. Moving on to number two, membership applications. Now it's lovely to attract new members, but let's address the elephant in the room. It can be a pain especially in the olden days when they'd mail in a physical form or fill out a PDF that then had to be reconciled and processed. But with your new membership software, membership applications can have a status, go into a queue, wait to be processed, and then their data is automatically put into your member database. This streamlines the process so that all your members have the correct information in the right format stored with all your other memberships and it's ready to be leveraged by your other systems. Number three is financial management. This is the other half of your membership application. Membership application was collecting the right information in the right format and putting it in the right place. This is about collecting the right payment, making sure it has the right taxes, issuing the right invoice, and then syncing that information to your accounting system, providing the receipt, sending the confirmation email, and everything else that goes with financial management. It's a critical component to get right, and it's important that you make sure it meets your requirements. Feature number four is another crucial aspect. It's membership CRM. Now, the key here is the last two letters, RM, which stand for relationship management where the previous two features, membership application and financial management, relate to collecting information and collecting payment, that's really at the point in time when the member is joining or renewing. The relationship management component is really about progressing that relationship over time. So any contacts the member has with you, any special requests, uh, any volunteering of their time that needs to be tracked to really get a full picture of the relationship between the member and your organization falls into this bucket of membership CRM. Number five is email and communication. Now, throughout the relationship between the member and your organization, there's going to be times that you need to get that member specific information. So your platform needs to have the ability for you to get that information into their hands through emails or direct message or even SMS. Now, it's important that your platform facilitates this communication and dissemination of information. It's also important that the platform helps you target which members need to receive that information. So the ability to segment or target members by things like membership type, the status of their membership, when they joined or when they expire is very important so you can get them the right information at the right time. Moving on to feature number six is a calendar. Most organizations have dates or important events that it's critical for their members to be aware of and take action on. Now, this varies probably the most by organization. Some local organizations might have meetups every week or events every day at their venue. Uh, more national or global organizations might have an annual conference that people then travel to, or they might have Zoom meetings or digital meetups. It really depends on your organization, how you use this feature, 
but it's critical that there's a place where your members can go to look up important events or upcoming dates on a calendar. And that brings us to feature number seven, the members portal. The members portal is a critical piece of membership software because a member portal allows your members to log in and take care of tasks themselves. It's a self-service customer portal. This means for things like updating their information, downloading receipts, renewing their membership, instead of waiting for you to do that on their behalf through a request, they have the ability to log in and take care of it themselves. It empowers them and it improves their member experience so they're not waiting on you. Now, these seven features that we've gone over so far round out the bucket that we called operational requirement features. The reason we put those in a separate bucket is because those will vary depending on the needs of your specific organization. Now, to go back all the way to the first feature, the website builder or the online presence, it varies depending on the other setup of your organization. So each of these seven features, it really depends on your specific needs and whether we check that box. Next up, we have our operational improvement features. These are features that might not necessarily need to check a box against certain requirements on your end, but they can really help you smooth out the running of your organization or improve your operations. So let's dive in. First up in this bucket is analytics and reports. Now, this isn't just about being able to export your data into reports, which is table stakes for most membership software. This is really about being able to analyze the trends in your membership. So what's your membership growth over time? Is that membership growth accelerating or decelerating? What are reasons for your member churn? Things like that. These insights will really help you improve the operations in your organization and they'd be critical in deciding which membership software to choose. Next up, and we're second to last here, is membership lifecycle management. Now, when I think of an organization that used to run their membership manually, so using physical mail and spreadsheets, a lot of times once a member joins, that's where the work ends. But for a lot of systems, that's where the work begins. When a member joins, that's when you really have to manage the entire life cycle. So for things like how do you onboard that member to make sure they have the best experience? Does it automatically send emails to follow up? Also ahead of their expiration date, how do you manage churn through renewal reminders? After they expire, do you send expiration notices or expiration reminders to get them to, to reactivate? These are all things that a membership platform can and should do, and they can help you manage that entire life cycle, not just the moment that someone joins. It's critical to look for your membership software and make sure they have membership life cycle management. Last but not least are integrations. Now, as you're evaluating your membership software, you wanna make sure that it integrates nicely with other tools. So make sure they have an API, a developer portal, even if you're not the one to use it, or a partner directory. Now, I know a lot of membership platforms will say that they're all in one and that they'll never need to integrate with another platform, but we know that's really not the case. Eventually, you'll wanna use that membership data in another platform and you wanna sync that data. So making sure your data is portable and has portability through other integrations is a critical aspect when evaluating membership software. And there you have it. 10 features to look for when evaluating membership software. Now remember, most organizations only evaluate their membership software once every five years. So it's really important to get it right. And we'd love to help, even if you don't choose join it. We're happy to give you a free trial, answer any questions, or provide you a demo. Now, if you're not evaluating membership software, we'd love to keep this conversation going. We're constantly putting together new videos, and we'd love for you to follow along by subscribing to this channel. Thanks for tuning in.